I'm gonna show you how to do a really easy space painting in oils today. I'm gonna to show you how to do the nebula, the gaseous clouds, and the little planets here. And it's all gonna take just under an hour. All right, let's go ahead and get started. And I'll show you the tools that we'll be using here. So I just have two inch brush, couple one inch brushes just because we're gonna have multiple transparent colors going on in here. And then I have um, fan brush. You can use either the larger one or smaller one, whichever you are more comfortable using. That's just gonna be for like the nebula section there. And then I have the filbert brush and that's gonna be for creating the edge of the planets like that. And then, um, so all I have here is I'm starting with a 16 by 20 canvas, and this has already been covered with black gesso painted days ago, so this is nice and dry. <laughs> and then I've cut out circles out of contact paper. Now the contact paper I get is go to Amazon. You can just go to Amazon and um, type in liner or um, shelf liner. And there's like duct tape brand shelf liner. And then you can use anything as a template. I use anything that's circle, uh, circular in nature. So I use like masking tape, or you can use the bottom of your paint thinner bucket. <laughs> you, can use, you can trace around your liquid wide there. <laughs> so any, anything circular that works out. Plate, if you want a really big planet, you can, you can trace around a plate. Well, paper plate, preferably. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna cover the entire thing with liquid clear. So everything's gonna get li liquid clear except for those planets there. So I'm just gonna start with, it's a nice two inch brush there. I'm gonna dip a little bit of that brush into some li liquid clear. And I'm just gonna dot all over the canvas here. It's gonna crisscross that in. Just be careful around the edges there of your contact paper. So I'm doing that crisscross motion, then you can also to really scrub it in there. Do that motion. Basically you want as thin a layer as you can possibly get. just a tad bit more. So I'm gonna dip just a little bit, just the corner, there, just the corner of my brush here. Just dab these last little parts. Just about do it. And you can do a little oops, spot there. A little touch test too. You can take your fingers and just kind of just kind of tap in different areas. Basically what you're trying to feel for is you want you want it to be like bouncing back at you. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wipe off the two-inch brush there. So I'm kind of squeezing the bristles there to get some excess liquid clear off, and then I'll put the paper towel on the palm of my hand and do this little circular motion to get the rest off. And then I'm just gonna go back over it. So not only am I wiping out my fingerprints as I'm doing this, but I'm also just soaking up any excess liquid clear. Okay, so that is good. I'm just gonna wipe off that brush again. And I'm going to show you the colors that I have here today. So again, all transparent colors here. So 
I have. Um, the first color I have here is, is purple. It's just a combination between the alizarin crimson and the phthalo blue. And then I have, um, ooh, <laughs> it's starting to drip there. And that is uh, phthalo green. So, and then and of course I have a little white down here too. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting down the transparent colors and then we're gonna be going in with the white to bring those colors out. So I see a little, little dry spot as I'm poking my head around here. There we go. All right, that's better. Wipe that out again. And then I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with Alizarin Crimson. So all I'm gonna do here, take my two inch brush. I'm just gonna drag some of that color down. Turn so you can kind of see there. And see how I'm kind of tapping that color into my brush, but I'm, I'm tapping it, you know. The reason I'm tapping it is to get nice, a nice even distribution so you can see the brush there and you can basically see all the bristles. <laughs> so that's how you know you're good there. So I'm gonna start from the, from the corner here. Put a little of that red over there. I'm gonna wipe some of that off. And then I'm gonna go into my purple. purple on this top section right here. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna wipe some of that off. Blend some of that in. There we go. Okay. All right, and then the next color I'm gonna go into is the phthalo blue. I'm kind of going in order of intensity. <laughs> so the, um, the Elizabeth Crimson is the least intense. And by that, I mean the color that I'm doing next overtakes the, that color. So the blue is much stronger than the red. So that's why I put the red in first, then the blue, then the green. Green eats up everything. So I'm just wiping that out as much as I can there. Okay. Wipe off some of this green that's leaking there. <laughs> if you if you find you have this, and I find I have it have that happen with certain colors, sometimes they're I have a couple older tubes of uh, bright red and phthalo green that sometimes they're not quite mixed all that well. So if, if that happens to you, if you get like you, if you're squirting out your paint and you get like a, a squirt of oil that comes out, go ahead and squirt your paint onto a paper towel. Fold your paper towel a couple times to get some layers in there so it can really soak and then just leave your paint there. That, that, that also works if you have like a brand of paint that's a little softer. So that's a way that you can make it uh, firmer so that you can use it for this method. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing here with my blue. I'm just gonna tap it. And I have a decent amount in here. Yeah, don't be afraid to make noise. <laughs> If you're making a noise like knocking on the door, that's a good thing. It means <laughs> it means the color is getting evenly dispersed there. All right, I'm going to come from the other way with this blue. Okay, that's good there. It's going to wipe that off. 
So of course, as I said, these colors are all transparent, so it's kind of hard to see. Sometimes if you're looking at it, you can see like, okay, I see the red hair, purple's a little less obvious. Got your blue over here. You can kind of see it when you're looking at the canvas, but it is a little difficult because it's so transparent. But sometimes that's the fun part because <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get with these space paintings. And that's, you know, that's nature and that's space. So I think that's kind of cool. All right, so now, last color. It's gonna be that green. So this is the phthalo green. You can use um, you can use sap green too. It's transparent enough to use for this. Sap green's a little more like foresty looking, but the phthalo green is just wild looking. Phthalo green's really good for for space paintings and uh, seascapes. Just seeing these three colors here. Reminds me of the uh, the old movie War of the Worlds <laughs> from the, the 60s, I think, early 60s. With that green, so intense and alien-like. I want to do a painting of that sometime. I love sci-fi movies. <laughs> All right. So, last corner we have here, or last area, really. I think that is gonna do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off that brush again. All right, so what we're gonna do next, <laughs> like I said, we have our transparent colors on, so now we're gonna go in with white to bring out the colors. And the way we're going to do that is a little technique I like to call <laughs> the Karate Kid 2 technique. So if you've ever watched Karate Kid 2, they have these little drums. And the way you, you, <laughs> you play the drum is you, you twist it like that between your hands. Oh, I got green. This, this thalo green, it stains. So let me tell you, baby wipes are your best friend. <laughs> Baby wipes you will use for um, cleaning yourself as well as your palette and table or whatever else you get, I, iPad, yeah, anything else that you get paint on. Yes. All right, so like I was saying, Karate Kid 2 method, except we're going to do that like this on the side there. So this is the part you're gonna use a fan brush for. So like I said, you can either use the bigger one, the smaller one, whatever you're more comfortable with. Um, this is a bigger canvas, six by 20, so I'm going to use a bigger fan brush here. So this is the, um, this is the number six one. So fan brush there. I'm just going to basically just kinda tap a decent amount of white in. And this is titanium white, not liquid white, titanium white. So a good, good decent amount on there. All right, like I said, Karate Kid method, like that. So I'm gonna start from, oh, my nebula's gonna start over here. It's kinda gonna go this, this area here. So I'm gonna have like one arm like in the, the red area, so I have the red and the purple, and then I'm gonna do it again with the green and blue area. So I'm gonna start like right here, and we're just gonna kinda twist. Oop, let's get to spot there. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that brush off. And then I'm gonna do that exact same thing to the other side. First, we're gonna reload. So I wiped off my fan brush there, wiped all the color off and reloaded it with the titanium white. So we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side here. Like that. 
All right, so now what we're gonna do, just wipe that color off again on my fan brush. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a one inch brush and then, so I'll, I'll have one inch brush for each side, one for the red side, one for the bluish side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this white that we put in here and we're gonna blend it out. So just little, little circular motions, just kinda just blend it out. Remember this is space, so it's like keep it, keep it loose, loosey-goosey, loose and wild and free. And if you, if you don't have enough white to blend it out, you can always go back in and um, do that method again, put more white in there. Ooh, there's that purple coming through. I try to keep the blending mostly to the outside of the nebula, and I'll put like a little bit, I'll blend a little bit on the inside there. I'm just using the corner of my brush there. Steal a little more white there and bring, bring it out, bring it outwards. So you see how I'm painting over these planets here. So the planets are gonna, aren't gonna get this nebula texture. That's kind of like behind the planets. It's like the background. So for this part, I just kind of like, I blend as my heart tells me. <laughs> so it's like, oh, I want a little more, a little more lightness up there, I think. Yeah, I think a little more lightness up there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wipe my brush off there on paper towel. And I'm actually gonna go in and tap in a little bit of white into my brush. And I'm gonna start from that nebula there and just kind of work my way out. So that way I can bring in a little, a little more white out here. Okay, I think that's pretty good, so I'm going to wipe that out again. So that way I can go in with a relatively clean brush so that I can just blend. So no paint on this, I'm just, just blending. Just blending, just do little tiny little circles again. Same thing. Just making space clouds. You can make spacey scenes with acrylic too. I think this is way easier in my opinion. <laughs> but you know, everybody's different. Some people, um, some people really like acrylic. Some people like me really, really like oils. So just whatever, whatever medium speaks to you. That's, you know. That's what's right, that's what's good. Okay, I'm gonna step back a sec just to kinda, oh yeah. Ooh, this would be fun for a nighttime scene. I, I, like, I like purple and red. I think that's a cool color combination. Maybe it's because I like Transformers. You know, Autobots and Decepticons. Autobots are red, Decepticons are purple. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's why, I don't know. You never know. You never know where some of your likes come from. All right, so. Well, I mean, this brush has already got like the green and the blue on it. Maybe, maybe I should just use this one. So I'm gonna wipe off as much as this green as I can here. Maybe I'll just use this part for the green and then go in with another one inch brush for the blue and you know, keep them separate. It'll, as Bob would say, it'll pay you great dividends to have multiple brushes <laughs> for sure. Because <laughs> you don't want to really be uh, cleaning your brushes with paint thinner, not the big ones anyway, the little ones you can because those ones dry really fast, but the, the big ones, uh, it's really hard to get them, get them dry. 
So I wouldn't recommend cleaning the big brushes and with the paint thinner until you're completely, completely done with the painting. All right, so I'm gonna take, let's see, we got, see we already got our white on here. So again, I'm just gonna take the corner of the brush and just let's do a little swirly, swirly motions here. Love that green. Phthalo green is such a such a cool, cool outlandish color. <laughs> there we go. So now we're brush is going into the blue here. So I guess I didn't really need to use another another brush for just the blue section. So that's good. The green didn't really overtake the blue there. So that's good. Blend in a little in the middle. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just so it doesn't look like a harsh edge there. Don't want, don't want it to look like a harsh edge. And if you blend out all your white and you wanna go back in and make this, this white area a little stronger, you can do that. Just go back in with the fan brush and kinda of just tap in just a couple areas to make it stronger in areas that you want. So, a little white on here, I'm just gonna tap that around. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did earlier. Wipe off my brush, go tap in a little bit more white just to kind of drag that out there. These space scenes are just so, so fun, so easy, so, so freeing. All right, let's, I'm just gonna spread my white a little other direction there so I don't <laughs> get it contaminated with the, the white that has the purple in it. Okay. So again, for the white, I'm just kind of just tapping the corner of the brush there. But as you can see, you can, um, you know, you can do this blending out with a big old two-inch brush. I'm just using just the corner, just the corner of the two-inch brush. Or you can use the one inch brush. One inch brush is a little easier. I'm just showing the you that you can do it with the <laughs> two inch brush. That and this has already got the green and blue on it. So, so there you go. So I'm just touching real, real lightly here. So all I'm doing is just, I just want a couple areas that are a little, a little brighter. I'm gonna bring some of this color out because I don't want this to be like stark, stark black, you know. A lot of space isn't stark black. I think that will just about do it. Maybe just, oh, just a teensy bit more here. I think that should be good. A little goes a long way with this, this white. So I'll wipe that off. And then, just like before, just go in. I'm just going in like a little circular motion here. You can make it as faint or as strong as you want. <laughs> this little plant's getting covered up there. <laughs> Oops. 
That's okay. It's okay if it lifts up and gets a little color on it. That's not a big deal, because we're going to put color into these planets anyway. we got to decide on color on the planets. Oh, man. Blend a little more in the center of that nebula there. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to blend blend out a little bit more of this green area. I just want it to be a little less intense here. Okay, there we go. That's much better. That's much better. And it's all about, you know, play on dark and light. Some areas lighter than others, you know. Back and forth, dark and light. I think, I think, I think, I think. That's pretty good. And maybe just kind of blend out some of that dust a little bit there. Space dust. Nice and, nice and foggy. Okay, I think that's pretty good there for a little nebula. Maybe just a little more. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I have a computer monitor on the side there, so looking at the computer monitor, non monitor is very similar to stepping back and looking at the whole picture. So, so I look at the monitor a lot to see if there's anything else I want to put in there. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna stop right there. Okay. So, before we put our planets in, sometimes I forget this step, so I have to tell my, <laughs> I have to tell myself, stars, stars, stars. This is a really, really, really fun technique. So. What we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, I have, I have two areas of white that are kind of contaminated. I'm gonna take a little, little white in the middle there. I'm just gonna slap it to the side. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna take, I use the fan brush. I think that's the easiest way to do it. Take the fan brush. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it out my paint thinner there. Okay, so basically you want to take a little bit of paint thinner and you want to dab it in. See how it's running right now? That's the, too runny of a consistency. So we want it a little thicker than that. A little thicker than that. So I think that's pretty good right there. And with this technique, I highly recommend um, practicing first so you can kind of get the feel of it. So you can practice um, doing it on your, on your palette, actually. See if you can kind of see me do this. So basically, I'm gonna, there you go. I'm gonna take my brush and flick it against the, um, the knife there. So like I said, you can, well, you know what? I'll flip. I'll flip that around so you can kind of see. There you go. So in that corner, there we go. So you can kind of do, 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 do. So you're going to do that number right there. So I'm going to flip my palette back around here. Okay. And then, so same thing, you're just gonna take your brush and flick. So how far away you are is gonna determine the size of your stars, of course. So if you're far back here, your spray is gonna be finer, mistier. And if you get closer, you're gonna have larger stars. So I like to make my clusters a little more concentrated towards like the lighter areas. Oh, 
Okay. I think. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, one more, one more. It's hard to know when to stop with this sometimes. So, so yeah, do it and then step back and then, yeah, that just kind of, that brings it all together right there. All right, I'm gonna wipe off my knife here. Put that aside. Wipe off my fan brush. Now, we are going to Sometimes, and this is, this is like a happy little accident or a happy discovery, and this happened with me this time, so it was a little on the runnier side, so there was a little more thinner than maybe it should have been, but sometimes that looks cool because I don't know if you can see, but on some of these, some of these stars have like a little bit of a halo, and that's because of the paint thinner. The paint thinner and the liquid clear have like a violent reaction where they just kind of like oil and water, they don't want to mix. They want to like separate from each other. So some of these, some of these stars have a little bit of a halo around them, which actually makes it, in my opinion, look a little more spacey. So I kind of like when that happens. <laughs> All right. Wait, I am a mess. Ooh. All right. So now what we got to do? We are we are almost done. It's only been thirty minutes. <laughs> So now we got to peel off our planets. So how we're going to do that? A couple different ways. You can either, um, I have nails, fortunately. So me, I can just go in here and just kind of just grab and grab and go. <laughs> so that's super easy for me. Um, if you don't have nails, you can, you can use like, um, you can use a knife to just kind of like, Ooh, like kind of pry like that. So either way, either way. And then we got one more, the little baby planet. Don't forget him. Don't forget the baby planet here. Come on. Oh, that one's on good. Maybe, oh, okay, I was like, maybe I do need the knife on that one. All right, so as we said before, uh, these ones do not have liquid clear yet. So, you can put the liquid clear in with, um, with, with anything, really. You can, you can do it with a filbert brush, fan brush, um, or just a one-inch brush. One-inch brush is going to be hard with that little guy. So, let's use, let's use the filbert brush, because we're going to be using that for, for that thing. Well, I'll use the filbert brush for the little one, then the, the bigger brush for the bigger ones. So, let's bring out... Bring back my liquid clear. I'm just gonna take a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of liquid clear here. Basically, just be filling that in. That's good because this, this will give you practice for the uh, the next step too. <laughs> if you track a little of the color in, that's fine because that's basically what we're going to be doing next <laughs> is putting color in. So not a big deal. I'm just going to wipe that off real quick. We have to decide what colors we want our planets. So. I'm gonna go in with just another one inch brush. Just put a tiny little bit of liquid clear in there. So I have to go back in with the filter brush anyway to get the, the edges there. At least I can fill in the meat, the meat of the planet. And then we'll just switch back to filbert brush. Fill in the rest there. And 
see how I'm kind of like, like scrubbing up from the, like the center of the planet towards the, the edge there. up until you meet the edge. Again, if you drag in color, that's not, not a big deal. Not a big deal. do that on purpose. I'm just going to go around the edges here just to kind of soften the edge of the planet there. I'm just going to wipe off that and liquid clear out to the brush again and just finish this one off. Same thing, just Scrub from the inside of the planet to the outside. This is fun. I hope you're having fun because this is, I think I think these spacey galaxy ones are just so much fun. Okay, that's good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some color on the inside. So just like we did before with like the spacey area. So let's see, what color do we want? I know I want one, but you know, let's make this planet purple. Let's do that. I already have a brush that has purple on it from blending that purple color out. So I'm gonna take that purple, tap it into my one inch brush here. I'm just gonna fill it in. I'm not gonna like do it like evenly or anything. I want this to be kind of not uniform because you don't want a planet to look completely uniform because you know, planets don't really look the same everywhere. I mean, look at, well, look at any planet, <laughs> especially Earth. But they've got, they've got bumps and crevices and all sorts of things. So I'm just kind of like tapping that color in there. That's good. You can throw multiple colors in there too. You could throw red in there. I think, let's see, ooh, maybe I'll make that one red. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. So because this one's so small, I'm just gonna get a little, little bit of red on the filbert there. Just a little bit. Ooh, it's the red planet, hey? <laughs> it's the red planet. <laughs> I was looking up, because uh, I want to do some space scenes, so I was looking up pictures from Forbidden Planet, because the planet's all like, kind of like really green and everything. This is really weird, eerie green. I thought about that, and then I was looking at pictures of uh, Planet X from uh, <laughs> Looney Tunes, you know, Duck Dodgers and uh, Marvin the Martian. I was like, ah, it's got that same kind of like, eerie, creepy green. So I might do, I might do paintings on, on those in the near future. Like I said, I like sci-fi, what can I say? <laughs> Especially like older sci-fi. All right, now we got a side on. Maybe blue-green, blue-green. That's what we want. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna combine blue and green. <laughs> phthalo blue and phthalo green. Yeah, let's use all the blue. There we go. Like I said, that green is strong. So strong. Boop. All right, let's wipe off the knife there. And 
values. Uh, yeah, I'll use one inch brush there. Just gonna, again, just tap that color in. Decent amount. Well, it's a smaller planet, so I don't need too much. Okay. Again, I'm just gonna like swirl it in. Not too concerned here. I think that's pretty good there, yep. All right, wipe that off. So let's start, again, like we did before, I'm gonna start with like the reddish, the reddish planets. Then we'll do the, uh, I forget, oh, I was like, wait, wait, oh yeah, purple. <laughs> we did purple, no. <laughs> like what color do we do? So let's go back in with our filbert brush here. I'll put my liquid clear aside, don't need that. So I'm just going to, don't need much white, just a little bit of white. In fact, heck, I'll just, I'll use this white that's got a little bit of purple in it, doesn't matter. Just a little bit, even, even less, even less, even less. Just a tiny bit. Now, since we have this nebula in the middle, that's where the light's coming from. So that's how I'm going to highlight these planets, so. I'm gonna wedge myself in the corner here, so goodbye. You know? <laughs> and so you can see how the filbert brush is already um, like rounded. So all I have to do is kind of make like a crescent moon shape. It's kind of like, just kind of like that. So I'm kind of going like a little outside the planet there. And again, I want it to be kind of textured. I want it to be, well, I'm getting a little light there, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off. Like I said, you don't, mean, don't, don't need much white for this. So, I'll wipe off what's on my brush there. Kind of dragging this around. Pretend this is like, like a ball that your dog would play with. You know, just, just kind of bring it around, bring it around. And you want to leave this side kind of pretty dark, pretty dark. So I'm gonna see why I only used a little bit of white there. And if you want, you can go back in, just kind of like stipple it, like make little. Or you can even go back in with like black or something and, and put even more shapes and stuff in there and little craters and things. So I'm gonna wipe that off there. Again, I'm gonna put a little bit of white. I have to, you have to remember, this one's purple. <laughs> so just a tiny bit, tiny bit of white. I'm gonna start with a tiny bit of white because we can always put more white in. It's hard to start with a lot of white. And then, like I said, the only way to make it dark again is basically black, so. Mm. So I just have a tiny, tiny bit. Ooh, see, I have a, have a little um, straggler of a, what's it called? There we go. A little bristle, straggler of a bristle there. All right, it's the same deal. Just gonna, again, if you bring in some of that color, that is fine. Because then you let me just, you'll, your, your planet will just have multiple colors in it. That's fine. That's good. It's a good thing. And if you mess up the edge of your planet, just make your planet bigger. <laughs> just like a mountain. <laughs> if, you're, if you're fiddling with your mountain and you kind of mess it up, it's just, you know, just recreate the top. <laughs> it's fine. No issues. 
See, I'm kind of swirling it now and getting a little, little texture in there. Scrubbing, scrubbing that in. So now let's see, a little, little texture going on there. Oh, yes, 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 <laughs> yes. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yes. Okay. So, so this one's blue green. I think we'll be all right if we don't. Uh, if we don't clean this off, if, if you want, you can, like I said, with the smaller brushes, you can clean those off and paint thinner and you can dry them uh, with a paper towel. It doesn't take long at all. Just, I would avoid cleaning the bigger, bigger brushes until you're completely done. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just tap in just again, just a, a tiny bit of white, the tiniest bit of white. Because again, if, if your planet's too dark for you, like if this, you don't have to make your planet as dark as I did. Totally up to you. Totally up to you. If you want it lighter than that, go back in and put a little more white, but do it in layers. Don't start with too much white, you know what I mean? Just start with a little bit of white, and if you want it brighter, add more white. If not, keep it like that. Look at that little like white glow. Oh, look at that, so good. Okay, so since we got the nebula between here, we're gonna highlight that side. So I might get in the way of the camera here, so I'll try to... Ooh. Oh, that blue-green. Oh, that blue-green. Oh, that's so pretty. And I'm, I'm doing this pretty with a pretty light um, touch here. With these planets, less is more. Less is more. Okay, Ooh, that's a streaky bit. Streaky bit there. I'm gonna take a step back and see see how we are. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe a tiny bit lighter. Just a tiny bit lighter. So I'm just gonna go over to the other side of my brush. It's still a little white over there, so it's gonna. There we go. Just a tiny bit lighter. Just a tiny bit. Oh, oh that blue green. Oh, that blue green. But, well, one of my favorite color combinations is purple and teal. So, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you know. You know. A little dabbling there and get a little texture, a little texture on my planet. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, hopefully I'm not in your way there. This reminds me of a um, a book I used to have when I was a kid about space. They had little, you remember color forms? It was kind of like a, a space book with like a spaceman color form, a planet color forms, and you can take the color forms and 
put them on the different pages. It's a really cool book. I'll have to find that again someday. This is, that's what this reminds me of. Okay. Perfect. That is exactly what I want there. Okay. Um, yeah, I think. I think I'm just looking at every every direction. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? Oh, it reminds me of like the yin yang. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, this is this is what I love about doing these paintings. You do a painting, and it just like leads you to your next painting. It gives you ideas, and you're like, ah, oh, what if I did this? What if I did this? What if I did this? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So you just, oh, what if? Ooh, and what if it was on? A uh, circular canvas. Oh, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> see, I'm already getting more ideas. All right, <laughs> or ooh, black and white space scene with the yin yang. Oh, okay, we're gonna. I gotta write these ideas down. <laughs> That's what I got my phone for. I got all these notes, all these ideas. But um, I, <laughs> I hope you had as much fun as I did because I, like I said, this is this is yeah. I, I love the spacey scenes. They're way too much fun. So um, let, me, let me know what colors you did. I did not use um, yellow. If you use yellow, the only yellow that is transparent enough to really work with this technique is the, the Indian yellow. I've been using like the Bob Ross colors. The Indian yellow is the only yellow that's really somewhat transparent. But yeah, I'd, I'd love to know what colors you used and everything. How many planets did you put in? Did you, did you put a ring around one of your planets? You know? <laughs> but yeah, let, let me know. There's, there's just, there's so, so much you can do. So much you can do with this technique, so much you can do. Um, yeah, it's, it, like Bob said, you know, he's just teaching you the, you the techniques and then you take them and you go off from there and, you know, anything you want to paint you can do with this technique basically so <laughs> all right thank you so much for joining me and um if you haven't already if you if you like what you saw if you want to see more tutorials go ahead and uh click the like button click the subscribe button that way anytime a new tutorial drops i usually drop them on fridays maybe like a couple times a month and um that way if you're subscribed if you um hit all notifications you'll get notifications every time I uh, drop a new tutorial and um, in the comments let me know what, what do you want to see next what do you what do you what are you having issues with what um, what tutorials do you want next just let me know all right thanks for hanging out I'll see you next time bye bye <laughs>